Climate change is a big issue being talked about on a local, national, and international level. Locally, it's been affecting coral reefs off our coast. 95% of them are threatened by disease due to climate change. Most are dying. So News 6 investigators are stepping in to help find solutions in our newest episode of our series, Solutionaries. So News 6 insider guide Crystal Moyer is giving us a sneak peek into the latest episode. Crystal. Yes, it's truly a group effort for this project. News 6 is partnering with our sister stations across the country to get results and find solutions to what may seem like complicated problems. I spoke with investigator Eric Sandoval about his search for solutions to our coral reef problem. The problem is coral off Florida's coast is dying. Those reefs basically act as barriers when hurricanes and strong storms hit the state of Florida. If they're disintegrating and dying off and global warming is causing fiercer, more powerful hurricanes, we're going to see more damage and the effects of that. News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval working with different programs and organizations. We're looking for coral disease, coral bleaching. Veteran divers came here from all over the state, including some from Central Florida. Diving into the many solutions they're coming up with to help the coral reefs survive and thrive. To monitor the coral for signs of illness, life, and yes, death. Nine out of ten times, this is caused by fellow humans. Sometimes on purpose, but mostly unknowingly. We watched as they formed four teams to search for two big threats facing Florida's coral. This story is just one piece of our newest episode of Solutionaries. New 6 investigator Hi, Lewis Bolden, Bolden hosts the episode with this a focus on climate change. The difference between a traditional investigative piece where we work to get results and solutionaries is really time. In our normal investigative stories, we have about two, two and a half minutes to basically dig and find results for people, and we thoroughly enjoy that. But the neat thing about solutionaries is we have all the time we want to tell the story, dig, go out, and find solutions to these problems that really affect everybody. The hour-long episode of Solutionaries touches on several climate change topics, including urban heat and how cityscapes are affecting the balance of nature, solar-powered homes and how the system works, and how groups are taking action to protect coral reefs. And I have to tell you one of the most surprising things that came out of this as we work to find solutions. The Florida Coral Rescue Project is not just happening here in Florida. They're taking propagated coral and sending them to aquariums all over the United States. Literally, coral is being grown in an aquarium in the middle of a cornfield in Nebraska, in Iowa. It's also being grown in Detroit and Virginia, places that you would have never thought to find coral. All of these organizations are stepping up to the plate to help. So what can you learn from solutionaries? The solutions aren't always immediate and the solutions are in progress. And are there better solutions down the road that we maybe not, haven't found yet? Absolutely. But that's the point of this program. We're looking for the solutions and maybe trying to find more in the process. And a big part of solutionaries is you all, our viewers. We encourage our community members to take part in this project and future projects. You know, do you have any ideas for solutions to the coral reef problem? Let us know. If you have any ideas for future Solutionaries pieces, pass them on to us. You could share your ideas in the comments section of the story on clickorlando.com slash insider. Now, episode three of Solutionaries will be available tomorrow on YouTube and then later on on News 6 Plus. We'll have more information, of course, clickorlando.com slash insider, ladies. He makes such a good point that mm -hmm. in the typical story, you know, he said the investigators have two to two and a half minutes. That's still a really long time mm -hmm. for a TV story. Most right. of them around a minute 30. Yeah. So it's so nice to get to see them really dig in this long form journalism. It's and also great when you think about how a lot of these solutionary episodes all get back to the core of communities working mm -hmm. together. And it's very cool for Eric to talk about how all the other states are involved yes. in this effort. Definitely. And he was also talking about how locally, you know, we have competing theme parks like SeaWorld and Disney. Mm. They're coming together for the Coral Reef Project as well. So there's a lot of programs out there that we don't know about and people diving uh, just to do some research on coral reefs to help find a solution. Mm. Even landlocked states that you would never imagine yes. coral reefs <laughs> exist. They do. Crystal, thank you.